Hi, I'm Old Sneelock. Welcome to another episode of Old Sneelock's Workshop. Now the next one gets cut opposite. So I can use that as a master to mark it out. Reason being, this gets tucked under a end cap so that you can't see where the end ends. So I can end it at 3 inches or I can end it at 10 inches, it doesn't matter, as long as it doesn't go past the roof cap. And everything should work out just fine then. Measurement's okay, so now I'm going to take it in there and use it as a guide to cut the other one. Okay, this mark is at 22 and 3 quarters, this one's at 25, so I want to measure down like that that's where I want to cut it and this is where I cut the 90 just like so
Now, use the grinder, lock this off. But first, I have to clamp it down. Makes it so that things stay where I put it. Got across here. Would have been better with putting a board underneath there and giving it something to sit on. It worked. With it cut off, now I go along and I put butyl rubber tape on the inside edge. Now that stuff sticks really good, but it has one problem. See how this part, when I pull on it, doesn't want to come off? They probably shouldn't store this stuff flat, and I think this tape is kind of old. Because when you store it flat, this is the side that was down. It flows out of that and makes the stuff stick out in places you don't want it. So you end up tearing it off and tearing it off to get it to go around. When it flows out like that, it ends up gluing itself together and you end up tearing it apart to get the thing uncoiled. And then this last piece is stuck to the cardboard so tight you're never going to get it off. So this is just junk. I bought two rolls and I'm going to use about a roll and a third because I got one more piece of trim to put up. This is the end cap that goes over the arch, and it gets stuck to the building with this stuff. Just like the roof trim does. And you just, once you get that stuff on there, you just peel it back. This stuff sticks to everything. I mean, it, it is sticky, which is fine. It's what, what I want it to do. But you gotta kind of pay attention because it's gonna get stuck to your fingers. And you might try saving this little bit, but you're gonna find it's just not worth the trouble. It's gonna be all over you. How do I know that? Well, live and learn. Okay, I don't need this done. 
I need the other long one done so that I can put it up onto the roof. But before I do that, before I put it up on the roof, I'm going to pick up the leaves in the yard. I'm going to leave that tape on there while I'm working on the other pieces of trim, just so I don't bump into it and knock it loose. And it'll set up on there and be solid. This is the uh, Alpha Systems LLC metal building butyl tape. 332nds by 38ths by 45 foot. Well, the 332nds by 38ths, it's not like that. You can see that this stuff has settled. And it's going to be just like the other rolls, going to be all stuck together. Well, not as bad. That's good. I'm happy. I don't want to be right on this one. Okay. Let's run the tape. The only thing I don't like about workmates is having that extra front piece sticking out. Catch the toe of my shoe on it all the time. Okay, when I'm ready to put that up, I'll peel that paper off, slip it up over the roof, 
and it'll kick down a lot of gangbusters. So I have two pieces ready to go. Now we just gotta get them up there. I put the tape on this one again, just like I did that one. Finish up this little gap here. And it's something I learned from my son this weekend. Butyl rubber means it has four carbons. Now I don't know where it go goes from there. You'd have to ask Ryan. He's the one with the engineering degree. I'm just a Guy who does stuff. Put this back in the package. And I'll have it for the next time I need it. Wasn't very expensive. I forget something like six bucks a roll for 45 foot. It is what it is, you pay what you pay. Nice thing is, once you put, you once you set that trim down, it really could get long without screws for quite a while because that butyl stuff is just sticky and thick. Okay, we've had the tractor on the charger for a while. I've got this trim part done. I want to go do. The front yard. I want to mow the front yard. This video is not to be viewed by anyone under the age of 13 in the U.S. or 16 in the European Union without the express written permission of the parents or the legal guardians of the underage person. Such written permission must be on file at the local government entity in charge of enforcing the rules and regulations established by the FTC. Anyone violating these terms is admitting by default that they hold harmless the owners and operators of this channel. Any and all questions should be addressed to your local branch of the FTC.